Oh, Nathan here. I promised I would do some uh, some gear reviews on what I use uh, backpacking, canoe camping, kayaking, you know, all that stuff. I, I go out and I have a lot of really awesome gear, and everybody's always asking me about it. Uh, instead of telling everybody about it one piece at a time and showing them, you know, one item at a time uh, while I'm out there and telling everybody one person at a time, I figured it'd be easier to do some gear reviews. So, let's get started with one of my favorite pieces, my favorite way to cook. I'm a fat guy, I love to eat. Um, start off with the MSR reactor. Absolutely awesome stuff. MSR makes top quality gear. Most of it's made in America. This piece, for example, is 100% made in America. I love that about any sort of product I can get my hands on. Uh, a lot of people are going to say jet boil. They're going to say, I love jet boil. Jet boil is the only way to go. I disagree hugely. Uh, jet boil is extremely sensitive to wind. It doesn't like wind at all. The cylinders do not like the cold at all. They're not designed for extremely cold weather usage. I mean, they'll work down to 20 degrees if you've got your hand on the cylinder and you're trying to warm it up and you're and you're careful with it. But consistency and speed of boil is everything to me. I, I do 90% of my meals are, my, are pastas or some sort of a bag food. And for me, this is the stove for it. Um, most I do in this is pastas, rice, uh, I make fajitas with it, dehydrate fajita stuff, um, and a lot of bag food. This stove is not the stove for solo backpacking. If you go solo backpacking, jet boil might be for you. I'm always with somebody, so I try to always share a stove. This stove, empty without a fuel cylinder in here, is one pound, 1.2 pounds. So for a stove, it's it's right in line with jet boil. The reason I like it more than jet boil is the way it packs up. When I open this up here, this is how I keep it packed. You've got the lid. Of course, the handle's built in. Got a titanium pot. Everything's in a titanium pot. This warning, they're not kidding about it. It makes a lot of carbon monoxide. We've put a gauge on the firehouse. Uh, we use the meter. This thing puts out a lot of CO, CO when it's in a confined space. I would never use this inside a tent. You can get away with that with a jet boil with the vents open. This thing with the vents open in your tent, it, it's, it still might kill you. It's, it's that bad. But as for cooking and ability to cook, absolutely awesome. Uh, fuel cylinder from Quest, six bucks. I use I like the bigger cylinder. I'm usually cooking for two and three people for two, three, and four days, and this stove will do three people for three days pretty much. Um, it's it's very reliable. I pair this with a lantern when I get kind of low. It's kind of low right now. Uh, it's probably less than a third in here. I'll put a lantern on top of it, a small lantern, and I'll use it to burn the rest of the fuel off. So I always have a near full or half full cylinder. Comes with a burner. The burner is a catalytic converter inside of a mesh guard. They they mate and nest together in the pot, just like this. So they, they pair up real nicely. And to protect the bottom of the pot, it comes with a pack towel. <clears throat> and that's all you get. That's your total. That's what you bought. You bought all this minus the cylinder. Cylinders are six bucks a pop. So screws together, common fittings, just like jet boil. So if you use a bigger tank, you can use a smaller cylinder, but then you'd have to use a pot stability stand. Um, I scare the big cylinder. You never know when you're going to need to boil a lot of water. Most of my stuff is in the winter time. It's cold out. I'm going through a lot of hot drinks, stuff like that. Stove is super fast. Jet boil will take, will get wind in the side of it and blow the flame out. This thing, by using catalytic converter, it draws all the air into the mesh into the catalytic converter. There is no open flame. None at all. No matter how windy it is, you will have a consistent burn on this every time. You'll see a big red glow, and there's no fire on top of the cylinder. There's no Pezzo on this one, but let's face it, nobody uses a Pezzo anyway reliably. They don't trust them. Everybody has a lighter. You're going to carry a lighter. I carry a lighter. Um, I usually prefer flint and steel. It's even more reliable than a lighter. You can wipe it off when it's wet. But anyway, <clears throat> most of our meals are 16 ounces. The 16 ounces of water is what's required. So I just happen to have 16 ounces of water here. But this thing will boil water faster than any stove I've seen out there. Uh, with a titanium pot, use the heat exchanger. It's all titanium, welded titanium, and the heat exchanger is extremely awesome. Like I said, when this is all together, nested up, as it's gonna as it's gonna work, there is no open flame. You don't see any open flame. The heat exchanger goes straight from the heat exchanger to the catalytic converter. It's direct connection. There's there's I mean it totally mates up. It, all the air comes into the silver screen, up in the catalytic up into the heat exchanger. Exhaust gases go out here, and they're actually not that hot. If you put your hand next to this, you can feel the heat, but it's not that intense. So anyway, that's what we have, but the joy, the real reason I like it, is the speed of the burn. We're going to light this off. A little flash of light, I'm sure you all saw that, maybe not. All 
right, there's that, that glow. See that glow I'm talking about? That's the, uh, that's the awesomeness of this. All the fire is inside the screen. It's inside the catalytic converter. There is no visible flame outside of this. Just a huge hot glow. Let's drop 16 ounces of tap water from the house. Outside air temperature is about 80 right now. Tap water, I don't know, 70, 60, I don't know. Doesn't matter. Let's see what time is it. 19, all right. So we're putting this on right now. Faster, once I put this water in here, faster than I can open my meal, grab the oxygen absorbing pouch out of it, get my fork, and figure out where I'm gonna sit to eat, this water will boil. It's super fast. Uh, if it's windy out, I'd say put the lid on the thing. Uh, you don't need to with this stove. It is that efficient. We'll watch this here. Here within uh, the first minute of boil time, of trying to boil, it will already be close to boiling. This, I think last time I boiled this afternoon, just to see, it was a minute and 15 seconds on 16 ounces of water. That's crazy fast. We're still under a minute of time total right now. Here's the bomb. I don't know if you hear that or not. That sound you're hearing is the bomb. The pot starting to rattle. It, it, it has an amazing heat exchanger. I don't know the time on the video is, but I think we're right at about a minute. And here, in the next couple seconds, will be a full boil. And there it is. That's a full boil in basically a minute, maybe a minute and a few seconds, but I'm missing boils water faster than anything I've ever seen. That is MSR Reactor. Uh, 16 ounces of water boiled in basically a minute. Uh, I love this stove. This stove is absolutely amazing. Uh, it does take a while to cool down. Uh, some of the meals you can cook, I do rice in this. I'll bring it to a boil and put a lid on it and let it just steep with the stove off. Turn the stove completely off, let my rice sit in there. Wait about eight minutes or so on your rice, fire it back up, bring it to a boil one more time, let's sit for another four to eight minutes based on what kind of rice you have and how long it needs to be in hot water. And then you'll see what you have. Um, but usually Uncle Ben's rices, stuff like that you're gonna pack with you. Uh, dehydrated meats, I just, I'll put them in, I'll add them to the hot water when it's boiling, I'll shut it off, I don't even leave it cooking. I also have the larger pot for this. They make a 2.5 liter, or 2.5 quart pot which is absolutely amazing. Uh, I didn't bring it out here for this demonstration because like I said this is for backpacking mostly and cooking for two to four people. Um, I'm saying four people if you're going to do bag food. If you're going to actually be doing rices and stuff you're going to put in the pot and let it cook in the pot, I'd say I'd say two people tops. Um, three people boiling water food, uh, four people definitely going to be all bag food. Anything more than four people and you're going to be burning through cylinders very quickly. Uh, onto the cylinder, 8 ounce cylinder is a standard what I carry because it fits in the pot properly, nests completely in. Um, a small cylinder you can use, the 100 gram cylinders you can use them, but you're going to need a pot support because this is the same size as the burner. You, you really want that stability. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really use the smaller one if I was you. I would just stick with the full size cylinder, uh, which is eight ounces, uh, 227 grams of fuel, and the stove as it is. Like I said, this is amazing. And what happened, like we just boiled that water, and it took, like I said, just over a minute. But if you wanted to relight this, for example, and see how fast this thing boils water, crack the fuel open, give it a little flame, it lights off extremely quickly. It's totally impervious to wind. Uh, unless you're in a hurricane, the wind is not going to affect this whatsoever. But you want to see how fast it will reboil water, how efficient it is? Already back to a boil. Just put it back on there. I mean, everything's hot. I mean, this thing is super, super, super efficient. Uh, it's probably the most awesome stove I've ever owned. Uh, the uh, I have some other stoves by MSR, the Whisper Light. I really like my Whisper Light but I really prefer the MSR reactor. It's, it's bare bones simple, made in America, stainless steel burner, steel screen, heavy duty handle, the valve feels good, the cylinders are reliable. I've used this stove down to 20 degrees so far. I think it'll go colder, uh, but I haven't tried that yet. Even the super cold weather when you've got a really poor performing cylinder, I think you're still gonna get great bowls out of this. And we're gonna test that this winter and do another video, but that's the MSR reactor. Uh, I bought this one from Quest Outdoors. I believe they're normally 160 bucks. I got it on sale. 
I don't know how much off it was. Uh, but I bought local, supported Quest Outdoors. So you can get them other places, but you know, put your hands on it. You know, you, you buy this from the store, you put your hands on it, it's yours immediately. You get to go home, play with it right away, uh, and that feels good. Now, you can't get that from Amazon or any other retailer out there. Uh, Walmart doesn't carry this. This isn't a Walmart stove. You're going to get way better performance with this in cold weather. Anyway, that's my story.